I think it's high time because if the curve is already flattening for the COVID-19, then there's nothing we are waiting for. Children must go back to school and must get educated. And uh, we as parents, we must be very watchful. We must keep our children secure because even as they'll be interacting, it's not easy for, for our young ones to, to observe these COVID rules because you'll be finding them just interacting very closely. But we pray, we leave it to God. And we pray that when the schools are reopened, we will take serious measures to ensure that our children are safe within these schools. And also just let us just proceed with our life as everything is normal. Tanzania here, yeah, everything is moving, is moving on. We will never get Tanzania in terms of economy because they've already moved. So psychologically, let us prepare ourselves and move on. And I'm praying that even today, my best friend, Uru Mugai Kenyatta, opens up the country for everybody because people are really dying. This thing is more of a personal financial issue than even of, uh, more of a personal health issue. Although to majority of the people it's both. But as things are moving, people can't get rent, people can't get food, people can't get uh, uh, to pay their bills, their, their, their normal bills. So it's really, really tiring. People have been sent away from jobs. Yeah. And this message is specifically also going to the K a Kenya Airports Authority. Don't even try to send people out of uh, uh, their, their, their job places because I will come with them and will ensure that no flight takes off and no flight lands. All those people must be retained and they must work there. So the CEO KAA, if you want to take away my people from Member Cassis constituency, JKI, then start with yourself. You are earning more salary than any other person there. Your salary can be divided to around within the constituency. So we would rather do away with you and keep a hundred. Yes. Okay. You have described uh, COVID-19 being more of a financial issue. Yes. Uh, there is this issue of uh, COVID-19 billionaires. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys from ODM yes. have been um, accused that you are trying to protect these guys who might, it is alleged that they stole from the public coffers. So generally uh, this is a matter under investigation that I would not like to talk about. Let the results of the investigation speak for, it, for, for, uh, uh, for itself. I'll wait for the results and also hear what's happening because I, do, I just don't want to speculate. So I'll wait for the results of the investigation and then I will comment after that. So after that I'll wait for you, you come for an interview uh, and then I respond to that question. Okay. Yes. Uh, there is this... Um, um, I want you to, we mentioned it earlier, but I want you to expound on, uh, we talked about children. I want you to talk about your key highlights, some of the things you have done for Embark as East residents, not just the kids we are talking about, but uh, women and men, all that. Thank residents. you, thank you very much. I was really waiting for this part. And uh, <laughs> as a member of parliament, uh, I've really done a lot. Last term, Embakasi East was ranked number 290 out of 290. As we speak, Embakasi East is one of the top constituencies in this nation. And I can assure you, when it comes to education, we have renovated schools. We've, uh, when you go to Miyango Primary School, constructed classrooms. We are constructing a high school within Donom Secondary School, well, within Donom Primary School. And uh, the classes in Donham Primary School, we've renovated all of them. We've worked on the washrooms. Go to Edelville Primary School. They used to use uh, pit latrines. As we speak, we constructed a 20-door toilet that is going to at least help our ones, help our teachers, help our parents during any function or during the stay when our students will be staying within the school. So go to Embakasi Garrison. We bought a bus for them and this bus is going to be used by Embakasi Garrison and uh, will be used by Embakasi Primary School. Also, Emba Emba both Embakasi Garrison Secondary and Primary School will use this bus. At least I'm in the process of buying uh, buses for uh, all these schools, at least one bus in every ward. As we speak, I've bought two more buses. One will be used by Miyango Secondary School, who will, who will be the custodian. But it will be used by the whole ward, that is Miyango Secondary, Immaculate Primary, and uh, even uh, Maua Primary School. And also Miyango Primary School will also use it. When you go to Tawala, 
secondary school we bought a bus for them that will be used by both utawala academy and utawala uh, utawala secondary school that is on education uh, we we are we are in the process of constructing a high school within tasia now let's go to bursaries every year we do give bursaries to our children because i know that that this is the only way that i can reach that kid who cannot afford his or her fees so within embakasi east uh, in 2017, we gave 7,000 bursaries. 20, uh, 2017, 2018, 18, we gave 8,000 bursaries. 1920, now we are giving around 8,500 bursaries mm -hmm. to the learners. That is on schools. Mm -hmm. Now we come to secu uh, security. Matters security within the constituency. We've done high masts in all the wards. High mast is in Choka. High mast is in Mbakasi ward. High mast in Soweto. High mast in... Uh, in, uh, in, in uh, in uh, Upper Savannah Ward, around Vumilia. Then, we are constructing a police station, DCI offices within Embakasi Police Station. That is to enhance security within the area. I've also been in constant communication with the authorities, the police, the police uh, bosses within Embakasi's constituency and other constables to ensure that security is enhanced within the constituency. That is on security. Uh, matters of water. We have constructed, we have sunk boreholes mm. within Embakasi East constituency. We've sunk a uh, bowl in Tasia with five water points, water kiosks. Okay. That, that will be uh, serving all the residents of Tasia. And we are in the process of sinking another one in Tasia as we are speaking. We've sunk a borehole at, uh, at uh, Vumilia that is going to serve, is going to serve the people of Kotieno, the people of uh, Karsan. And also we put water tanks in every ward. And we will be filling these tanks and uh, requesting residents, the constituents, to at least, mm -hmm. or either on, uh, either on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, to be free of from these uh, water We've sunk uh, another borehole in Soweto, and we're in the process of one at the Soweto Chiefs Camp mm -hmm. with five distribution. The distribution is one at the Chiefs Point, uh, the Chiefs Camp, but there are other five water kiosks that is going to serve the residents around there. There's one uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Mihango, mm -hmm. Choka, we've sunk a, bo a borehole. Karagita, we've sunk a borehole. Dispensary in Mihango, we've sunk a borehole. And Mihango Secondary, we've sunk a borehole there. And uh, now we are going to sink another borehole at Mradi. Another borehole will be sunk in Utawala. Another borehole is going to be sunk at uh, Soweto. We are going to add another one. And another board is going to be sunk at Tasi again. Uh, piping has already been done within Embakasi's constituency. Water reservoir constructed at Embakasi Garrison, mm -hmm. where water will, will be pumped in the next one year maximum from Muranga all the way to Gigiri. From Gigiri, water will uh, uh, move directly to, will be pumped directly to Garrison, where that is the distribution point, where every member of Embakasi's constituency is going to access clean water. We are constructing, as we speak, a level 3 hospital at Weto. We are constructing a level 2 hospital at Tasia. And we are putting a dispensary at Upper Savannah in Donom. That is Matters Health. In addition, we've been doing these medical camps. Three checkups yeah. to our employees. On roads. On roads, we've done around 26 the road that is moving from Tasia stage to harvest in Tasia has been tarmacked. And now, in the next two months, we are going to move it from harvest all the way to Kwandege. We've done the road that is moving from Nyayo to Kwandege, tarmacked. We've marked the road that is moving from Kwandege all the way to Tasia police post. The other day, we did the, the Soweto bridge. We, we marammed it, and now it's passable. We are going to do the road that is moving, the road at Muradi Mura, uh, that is moving in us all the way to aviation. The road leading to aviation we also did. So we've done a total of 26 roads within Embakasi East constituency, both tarmacked and maramed. And we are still going to do more.